pets with cutesy wootsy heads. I mean, welcome to my place of employment. Now be good and sit your little fluffy woofies down and stay here until I need... I mean, until I get back from my lab. Be good and don't turn on anything that'll take away my power. So sit and behave. Ooh, I think that's my elevator. I'll be back. <laughs> This looks creepy, and yet profitable. Eee, this scares me. From the dawn of time, the world has waited for the story of Tunenstein. Well, maybe not the dawn of time, probably since the dawn of yesterday. But anyway, whatever dawn it was, there was this mysterious mansion perched up on Tunenstein Hill. Our budget didn't allow for the gratuitous mountain. One dared not venture too close for fear of losing their brains. But one day, the evil, uh, sorry, the evil Baroness von Tunenstein, the current resident of the mansion, came up with a fiendish plot to lure two unsuspecting brain donors to the house. She was obviously making a monster and needed some gray matter to fill the brain box of her creature. Not able to get any humans, she settled for putting an ad in the classifieds? The ad attracted a duck and a pig. Boy, the monster-making business ain't what it used to be.
Innocently lured inside, our two volunteers are hopelessly locked in with no chance of escape. They are told not to touch anything and to sit still. Well, we would not have a story if it weren't for the duck hatching a plan. Uh, no pun intended. He figured that if they made their way to her lab, they could save the monster, escape, and keep their brains. That sounded easy enough. But first, they had a few things to do in order to complete their plan. It seems that when one is building a monster, or a nuclear power plant, power is everything. Inside the elevator, there was an operator named Paddy. Paddy showed them a few secrets of the mansion. Paddy showed them that there were secret ways out of the mansion called Acme Exits. He also showed them that there was a generator, and if you put in the correct code, you could be rich beyond your wildest dreams. This seemed to please the duck to no end. Then he told them about man's greatest fear. The devil dog! Ah! Sorry. He said that the devil dog guards the door to the Baroness's lab, and he will only move if given a bone. Well, what else? Finally, he told them about the terror of Tunenstein Manor. And we're not talking termites here, we're talking bombats. Yes, bombats! These things will fly around and without so much as a how do you do, blow up everything in sight. If that happens, you can't turn things on anymore. You've got to find an angel bombat and see if it will fix the broken bits. When you have to get rid of every bombat in the house, use the Acme Bombat Disabler. Accept no substitutes. Well, after all that, it should be easy for our boys. They simply have to turn things on and off, look at the electrometer to see where the power level is, use the elevator to make their way to the lab, with a bone, of course, then rescue the monster, get to the generator, set the code correctly, get the riches, and make it out all before the mansion explodes. Are they serious? Well, who knows what could happen. Why don't you give them a hand? I know they can use it. But try to keep your brains. <laughs> Good luck. I say, that was exciting. <laughs> but let's not do it again too soon. Darn gypsy moth.
Then I'll squeeze them, and then I'll switch their brains. They can't have my creation. In fact, I think I'll send them on a permanent vacation with a hug and a squeeze. Excuse me, lads. Could you help me, please? Everybody's talking about two. Time it is. <laughs>